Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valcal. You may remember this hat from episode one. I put it on because I thought I was like, oh cool, anime, but then it was looking, it looks stupid. Uh, for those of you waiting the three day period with bated breath, this is our ranking for the last thing. I guess we would have gotten more, less people would have died. Uh, and if we would have killed more tanks. Interesting. So like you can just get in there as long as people are dead. Enemy tank bonus. Funny. ZZMP1G? New episode. Um, I kind of want to do... Oh, let's fi let's save then, huh? I kind of want to do a skirmish. I'm a brave man. Let's do normal. Outskirts of Brill. So I guess this is probably like an arranged mode or like just a harder mode. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Also, yeah, I haven't injured my eye. This is just casual cosplay. Maybe it looks a little silly. Imperial activity. Starting position. Hello, kitty cat. My cat wants attention, guys. So yeah, one of the reasons that this hat looks stupid is that you kind of need the collar with it. You know? All right. Jan was really helpful. You guys were less so, but I feel like you can prove your worth. You were okay, but you did some work. Jane was fantastic. Uh, hmm. Then who? I guess we can put in Alicia, right? Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of levels and NGs. Okay, well. Let's put another Lancer in. I like the idea, Yoko. Uh, we just got to capture their base camp then, huh? Fingers now, crossed, right? Begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. It's kind of interesting because like so much of my peripheral vision has been removed. It means I also have to bend my head a certain way. I can actually put this onto my other eye. Like that. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. But this is actually Five, my seven, good eye that I'm covering out. now. Now I'm covering my bad one. A little animation of him just sliding down into his little tank is so kind of cute. All right. Let's take a look here. A lot of guys. Shock troopers. Scouts. Lancers. That's trouble. Find me a snipper. I'll do my best. Okay, I want to move him up. Brace for their attack. Well, that ain't good. Makes me think of my brother. <laughs> well, there he goes. Please. Now, I do still need a sniper. Luckily, I don't actually like Oscar that much, but... Hey, medic. <laughs> Goodness gracious, guys. You've got to stay strong. Keep fighting. <laughs> so careless. Just wasting my, my stuff, huh? So that's a scout. That's a shock trooper. It's a shock trooper. There you are. Easy mark. Nice. Good enough. 
Can't believe Oscar died in one round. Just pathetic. <laughs> Just absolutely pathetic. Uh, let us indeed move the Edelweiss up. Really, huh? I'll just leave it there. Fine. I'll give it a go. He can't even reach it, huh? Well, then maybe we can move up further? Nah, probably not. Keep advancing. Can I reach it with this? Not likely. What? Think I'll hit ya. Thankfully, my useless engineer also helped to whittle him down, so... This is going poorly. What a pain. When they saw how spread out they'd be, I was like, oh, cool. But it wasn't to be. I hope I don't need that engineer for anything. Thank you, Medic Chan. We haven't gotten the medic's name yet, so I can only imagine that it's just like Medic Chan. Shall we dance? <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, that was a captain guy. Next partner. You're doing well. Oh, she has like a dancing thing. That's cute. Well, two of my guys are dead. That's annoying. That's a lot. Yeah, whittle him. And then return fire, hopefully. Cool. I gotta remember to use my grenades more as well. Now that we actually have a budget, we can use grenades. A shock trooper. Okay. We're just doing work. Okay. We move this way? We can, cool. Enemy unit sighted at ten o'clock. Lancer and Scout. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Jan. Now, I realize that this is something of a uh, cocky move, but my plan is we'll just kill more of them. Okay. 
92 shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Die, die, die. I've got a plan for Jane. Just try I don't know how great of a plan it is, but we'll see how it works. This is like... I can try this over and over again as many times as I want or need to. So I don't really care that like I'm playing badly because this is where I can experiment. Like this is the lab, you know? This is this is what I'm doing here. All units, take your positions. Entering combat. Let's get a uh, tank round out, huh? Not dead? God damn. Focus on making smart choices, soldiers. Let's see if we can't get our Lancer to clean out two of those guys in one go, huh? Oh man. Accuracy is a is a um how do I put this? It's not a priority, it's a uh it's a luxury is what I think I'm starting to see here. Underminer fire. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can she not return fire because she doesn't have, like, a real gun? Not Jan! I guess they're just, like, trying to bum rush here because they really, really want this cleaned out, you know? Cool. The scout and the shock trooper. And then there's another scout back there. Conceptually, this is a pretty interesting idea. I can't believe two of my guys died like immediately. That's so annoying. <laughs> Order's in order. All right. For real, dude? This is your... I'm on. Go down. Really? That's just... That's like offensive. I can't believe that the snipers have that little health. Maybe we should upgrade them. Like, I would say that of all of the things, I am least happy with my snipers. My theory was that they would actually be very strong because of how low their health is. But I'm just very displeased with their level of power. But maybe I'm just going about it in a wrong way. <laughs> cool. Next. Enemy unit neutralized. The uh the little like shout outs are very XCOM, I feel. Are you sure? Can I not go over that? Me, sweetie. 
I love that he flickers like a Super Nintendo game. Like an enemy in a Super Nintendo game, I should say, but... Lancers are useful. I'm not able to see the engineer's potential, but it could just be because we are, you know, not using them. If he moves from that position, and he's probably going to want to because the camp is behind us, then both of us will light him up. So, or both of the girls there will light him up. I guess maybe we can move up here, okay? dangerous for a Lancer to be in enemy territory because, like, they can probably only shoot so far, and, like, they can't counterattack as much, but that's a lot of Under minor, fire. minor is right. <laughs> that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Yep. Bingo. Didn't even get the chance to throw the grenade. So it's relatively safe to leave a guy on low health if you think he might charge. Because he's got low health. So that's good at least. I'll take care of it. I think it must also be safe to go in on on a lancer because they can't counterattack, right? Right into the drink. Sorry, dear. You're doing well. Oh, I like that. I like that she's like a war grandma. That's kind of interesting. Get ready to die, imps. The girl bossification of Gallia begins. Die. Just you? Pity. Next. Are there any survivors? Hmm. There's no survivors, but there's also no, like, victory condition besides just taking this, so I guess you just kind of have to. I, I'm aware that I could have, um, occupied this earlier on my own. Operation. But. C rank? Yeah, makes sense. Uh, let's do some upgrades. HQ, that's what we want. I wonder what the, like, in-book justification is, because those do have their own thing. Because, like, this is outside of the, uh... This is outside of the, the book, you know? Because you don't want to have a thing of, like... Okay, shock troopers have been doing numbers for me. As have you. Let's see if we can't, we can almost definitely get them to four, and that will really, really appeal to me greatly. Good work, maggots! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troop! Oh, we can definitely. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's so good. I wonder how high it goes. Cool. Okay. 
let's shore up the scouts and let's bring the snipers up. Oops. And then Lancers. Like, I, I admit that I should be using the engineers more, but it is somewhat difficult to utilize them. Although, a lot of that is my fault. <laughs> I almost hate to say, but I will admit freely that I fucked. Well okay, so how does this work? I don't have any of these. So let's develop weapons. Okay, so we're done there. Yeah, these are all things that we all have. Huh. I guess we'll go to the Edelweiss? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Leon. Tread's another. Ah, okay. So we just needed these in there. Sight upgrade. Accuracy plus... That's pretty rad. I like the look of that. Scoot that in down there. Oh, I think these are just flat as well. Like, these just go on. Oops, right. That's kind of useful. Because these always being on means that I'm never not going to have them. Cool. I spent almost all of my money. That's what I wanted. Alright, now we're probably going to watch a cutscene or two. I might take this off for the next episode, this cosplay. It's all right, you know. Just don't get to see as much of my face because my hair is covered by a hat and one of my eyes is covered by an eye patch. When it's through this all in all. Hey there. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yeah, Those hot shots us. in Squad 7. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, she's cute. I'm looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy. What? Hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're... This is, uh... General Gunther, huh? You look vaguely off silly, I will say. Anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me. Minor details, right? What are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? We have no we have no reason to give you a break. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. I've totally forgotten who wrote the book so again. You uh, you're a reporter? I hate reporters. Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. How silly. Distrust. So this is probably like a cutscene cutscene. Because I don't want to start another big old fight, you know? Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Okay. Ooh, look at him. 
Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, uh, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. Are we gonna have to watch a one of these characters Only die? One thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. It'd be funny if they still wrote it EXP. Oh, that was okay. Chapter four, Operation Cloudburst. Oh fuck! What is about Cloudburst and tanks? Personnel tab in the what? Wow. Uh, games cast, the arms they we- Oh, this is lore. Castlefront Street. Hold on. <laughs> okay, personnel. Holy shit. Welkin. Oh, he can put his old outfit on. That's cool. Neat. She has another outfit? Oh, yeah. It's not technically a uniform in the first episode. I like that she still wears her darks and, like, shawl in this. He doesn't have one. Squad one. Okay. Yeah. Captain Hot Stuff. There we go. I like the little... It's like a braided bun. That's cool. Largo Potter. So these guys are all right up to the start. Formerly a bartender and songstress. Interesting. And then these are our... So I guess those other two guys are like quote-unquote canon characters. Look at this asshole. <laughs> There's Nanny. Ugh. Very shiny child you have, Martha. Yeah, miscellaneous drill instructor. No image. <laughs> Funny. Thamer. And then I think these are all, like, semi-canon characters because these are the guys that you can like you can recruit if you want but you don't have to and they even have a age 12 military current training credit at a record age uh jane turner hell yeah oh she was a florist cool Timothy howard she's 18 how old is... Hold on. How old is Jane? 27. Nice. Again, there's been a thing very recently. Well, not very recently, but... Walter Nash. Cool guy. Of, like... 37. She's only 37. That's basically grandma aging in the war. Fifteen, damn. Medic does not have a name. Medic, who is the Squad Seven medic? You don't say. Kind of silly. Okay, let's look at the weapons. Galleon regular old rifle. Standard rifle, created during European War One, I, I guess. EW1. Scallion soldiers and saw use in combat before the war's end. Minimizing changes to the action of existing models. Save time in realizing the design while allowing a wide range of uses through customization. It's the first domestically designated rifle in the nation's history. The axe shape earned it the nickname Francisca among its users. I don't exactly see what you mean, but it's like the, the stock. The mags, just a machine gun. ZMNP, okay. Okay, I wanted to read about this. Most common anti-tank lance, 
a way to allow foot soldiers to combat tanks unassisted. An armor-penetrating warhead is loaded into the lance tips and fired detonating on impact. The weight impedes the mobility. It's drawn from the fact that it's the name draws its the weapon's name draws its name from its use as a lance-shaped anti-armor device. Funny. GSR. So I guess that's Galleon Sniper Rifle? Galleon Scoped Rifle, maybe? Hand Grenade? Wooden Hand- Oh man, back when they made grenades out of wood. The good old days. <laughs> Similar in construction, this is an Imperial version. The Edelweiss. Constructed by Thimer. It's 360 turret. Automated loading system and other invasions revolutionized tank tech. Built to be operated by two. Oh, Isara is in there. Oh. I had no idea. Kind of interesting, though. Light tank, one of the Imperial guys. I like the little flap on the front. And then that's everything. And the glossary. Oh, boy. Lion's paw. <laughs> it's gonna be like a poo-poo fruit. So I feel like... These two are obviously the biggest guys, and then she makes up her own. And then Faldio is either gonna be a rival, or he's gonna die tragically. Or he's just gonna be like, oh hey, it's that guy, whenever they wanna show how the rest of the army is doing. Like, so far, Faldio has basically been a guy who has represented the entire rest of the army. Because, like, obviously, Squad 7 is is the protagonist house. But then you have Faldio, and it's like, oh, yeah, Faldio, how's the rest of the army going? Oh, you know, we're okay. And if Faldio says anything, you should just take that to mean the entire rest of the army's doing it. And then I feel like... Yeah, Rosie and Largo are, like, canon characters because you can't not have them. And they're above the other NPCs we've met so far. And, like, these guys are NPCs. This is an NPC. And then these are background characters. And then I think all of these are... Yeah, starting here, these are all just the miscellaneous, like, rando Fire Emblem guys that we've met. So can we do an easy... Or no, I wanted to do a harder one. Okay. We've unlocked Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst. This game was released before Arkham Knight, though, right? This cutscene will probably be the last part of the episode. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Let me turn up, because I just want to make sure that it's audible. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Okay. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge, and attacking the eastern camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the army on this? The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. So we're shit out of luck. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier, too. Luckily, you got promoted like nuts. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. <laughs> Reaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... Ah, uh, yeah. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I'm really curious about what the other Valkyria Chronicles Captain games could Barat, even be about, you know? May I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? What could it possibly be? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit. Is that baby going to be acting up again? Yes, Captain. Welkin, 
I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. Oh, boy. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better to just, just let them have it out. Let's see where they're going with this. Let them have it out? Goodness. You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. I think it's important that they punch out as many teeth as their heart desires. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but that may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... I wonder if they insist on Alicia. the terms of, like, on the chain of command being intact. Because I feel like Alicia is too soon to, Sounds uh... Like he's got his hands full. Like, still call Welkin a man who she it's all possibly might outrank, maybe. I know that she joined before him. Or not outrank, uh, uh, just have more seniority. Welkin's boast. Oh, boy. Welkin, are you going to become unlikable? Because you're already, like, you don't have that much going for you. Oh, God. Is racism happening live on stream? Okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? Who oh boy? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being the same as you. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Oh boy. Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. <laughs> now if my plan That's fails, a brave. Which I doubt, then I'll resign. And squad 7 will be all That is a gauntlet to, to throw down. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> I got to admit, I respect the hustle. Your funeral, boss man. I do respect the hustle. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But like, there's no real reason that I... Well, maybe Welkin? there is, actually. I don't know. Ordinarily, I would just imagine that Welkin would just pull rank and be like, Well, um, fuck you. I'm the commander. We we pay your wages. Mark with an asterisk are sub-episodes telling a side story tangential to the main plot. You don't need to view them in order. There's no penalty. They offer a different perspective on the events unfolding in the story you won't find elsewhere. Cool. I'll go ahead and watch one. But yeah, I guess if Welkin wanted to be a cool guy, he wouldn't pull rank and just be like, fuck you, I'm the commander, you do what I say. Welkin? Kind of a smart move on his part then. Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise. That's what's up. These are the these are the motions that either catapult you to being an embarrassment or being a protagonist, though. I'm sorry. And I know that like Welkin is already the protagonist, Coon, and this is this the protagonist is like unit. But there's probably a reason that the book it's is no about him. Fault. You know, it's, it's a war. We're all because his name is specifically mentioned in a mission. Certainly isn't uh, helping. War on it's the Galleon the front. It'd be kind of nice if I could just look at the cover of the book yeah. again, because I've seen all the inside of the book so much. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. We'll kill men together as a team. It's an exercise. That'd be great if it works. It would. 
But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Right? I would have at least given myself 72. Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Absolute nut. Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Is one of his stupid birds or, or insects going to come into play here? Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Some of his natural history and uh, sure. uh, what is it? philosophy come into play. You follow me? But that's... Is, is that the plan impossible? retroactively going to be whatever I do in the episode? Because I would like... Well, it would probably make please? sense, but... Think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. Cool. It's one of those, like, partially uncomfortable things. Oh, that's the asterisk. Okay. Um... Again, I'm hoping that this, like, racism subplot doesn't go too hard. Um, like, I understand that this game might handle it well or might have some smart thing to say about it or something, but, you know, I live in the real world in the modern era and there is no reason for racism to exist ever and none now. And despite this fact, I see enough of it in my day-to-day -day just because I exist uh, on the internet and I live in the United States. Um... But, you know, maybe Valkyrie will end up being smart about it. I hope so. I am interested to see where it goes. I'm not just backing out because this contains racism, but... Uh, I've hit 40 minutes. I usually did 30 minutes, but I've been upping it to 40. Uh, because this game is getting long, so I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't spend a million episodes on it. Um, I might, again, increase it to 50 minutes. I did one accidentally 50 minutes last time, but... That remains to be seen. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I'm playing the Steam port. I recommend it. It's good. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.